Hello friends, welcome back. Today's tarot reading is in regards to your key to success. Now everyone describes success differently. This could be in regards to love. This could be in regards to wealth. This could be in regards to your career. Whatever it is, however you define success in the moment, that is what this tarot reading is about. I have both tarot cards and oracle cards for this reading. The tarot cards are going to give me some insight as to what is blocking you from reaching the success that you desire, and the oracle cards are going to be advice on how you can move forward, how can you unblock yourselves, and just general advice to be able to reach the level of success that you are wanting. So again, this could be career, this could be um, whatever your goal is. If you're looking to reconcile with a lover, this could be, you know, a successful relationship. Um, and this is a general reading. I have three piles in front of me. Your message may be in one pile, it may be spread throughout multiple, so listen to your intuition. But also listen to your intuition as you're listening to what I'm saying. If something doesn't resonate with you, it quite possibly means that it's not for you, okay? So take what resonates, leave the rest, don't get hung up on details that don't serve you, okay? This is meant as guidance to help you move forward, to improve, to reach the level of success that you want. This isn't meant to bring you down and hold you back. Okay, so today we are using the Rider Tarot. We are using the Numerology Guidance deck. We are using the Magic of You Oracle and the Enchanted Map Oracle. This is pile number one. This is pile number two. And this is pile number three. Please take a moment to look at the piles, listen to your body, your mind, your spirit, and when you are ready, when you know which pile you want to proceed with, the timestamps will be listed both in the description box and the top pinned comment. I will see you in your reading. Hello, pile number one. Today we are talking about your key to success. These three tarot cards from the Rider Tarot are going to give me a little bit of an insight into what is blocking you. So we have the Six of Swords, the Sun, and the Empress. Interesting. I feel like you guys have a very clear picture of what it is that you want to achieve. You're very confident in yourself, but you're kind of hung up on the details as to how you're going to reach your dream. We have the sun here, and this is, you know, everything is bright, sunny, happy, cheerful. And we have the empress who is you know, like the embodiment of female energy. Now, you don't have to be a woman or identify as a woman to um, be the empress. We all have a balance of masculine and feminine energy within us. And I feel like the energy surrounding the people who have chosen group number one is leaning more towards a feminine energy um, in the ways that you're nurturing, you're caring, you're supportive. Um, you're creative. But then we have the Six of Swords, and this is talking about a transition and going somewhere, and I feel like this is where you're hung up. This is either you have no clue how you're going to get to what it is that you're wanting, or you're being way too detailed in the how. 
this might be, you know, say, say you want to manifest a new lover into your life. You might have, you know, such a detailed picture of who this person is. It might even be a specific person. And it might also be a specific way you want them to come back into your life. You know, they're going to call you and invite you to um, a concert. And then you're going to have a fancy meal before. And, all, you know, and then sparks are going to fly and the romance is going to be rekindled. But what if it doesn't happen that way? What if you bump into each other at the grocery store? Right? If you're so focused on the how that you want... You might miss the how that the universe is giving you. So right now I'm feeling like it's not about focusing on the how, which may be a relief for some of you who have no clue how you're going to get to your dreams, but it's focusing on the what and the why. Very important for the why. Why do you want this level of success? Why do you want this promotion at work? Why do you want this lover? Why do you want this friendship? Why do you want whatever it is, however you are defining success? Um, understand the why. What are the emotions behind it? What are you, um, what are you truly passionate about under those circumstances for your success? So we have the home, the card of home and talisman. So the talisman card, this is you holding on to something, but it's also a warning about the road ahead. Um, it's you knowing the signs that you need to watch out for, um, the road bumps, the traps along the way. You know, she's there's this big winding path, and if you look, there's something under her feet, but she has no one to step off to the side to not step in there. She's stepping around it. And I feel like that really speaks with this seven, or sorry, six of swords. Because um, it's, it's about the journey here. Your block is not in regards to the end goal. It's just the journey. Whether you are hyper-focused on something or whether you don't have any idea about how you might get to the end. It's about trusting the universe and trusting yourself. You know, we can't see where this path leads. It's over the hills. It's immersed in the fog at the end. But what we can see we can tackle, we can deal with the issues as they come up, as we see them, as they enter our existence. We don't need to be worried about what's on the other side of the hill. We just need to be concerned about what is happening now and how we can deal with the things that are happening in the moment or the near future. Um, things that we can see, not things that we, we can't predict. We don't need to be afraid of what's over in the distance. We don't need to be afraid of what's going to happen in a few years. We need to focus on what it is that we can control now. And then we have the card of home. And I feel like this card is really just a reminder for you to embrace what and where you feel comfortable. To move forward, to reach our success, we do have to step out of our comfort zone. Our comfort zone is this area in the fog that we don't know what is there. And sometimes we do have to step there without the plans in place. But there's always aspects of ourself, of our environment, that we can seek comfort in. You know, even if you go somewhere new, say you move across the country or to a different country, there is so much that is new and out of your comfort zone. But what is home is within you. Your courage, your strength. It's almost like this Empress energy, she is always within you. You can always look to her for guidance, for support, for strength. 
for that comfort is always within you. It doesn't matter where you physically are. You can look within to find the comfort and reassurance that you need. It's like you need to be your biggest support on this journey. You don't need to be looking for approval from anyone else. It is your journey to success. It is your definition of success. And it is you who will ultimately define whether you make it or not. It's not about what other people think of you. It's about what you think of yourself. And then we have the card of forgiveness, 96. Yeah, I feel like this forgiveness card really reflects with what I was just saying with the home card about being your own biggest fan kind of thing, right? It's about forgiving yourself for mistakes you've made in the past, forgiving yourself for decisions you weren't really proud of, or, you know, whatever has happened, the past is the past. We can't change the past. But what we can change is how the past affects our future, and how we let our past control our future. If you've never come across roadblocks before, roadblocks before, then you wouldn't know that they are an obstacle. So instead of, you know, beating yourself up internally for the blocks, it's about understanding that those blocks have made you who you are. Those blocks have allowed you to learn. And it's time to forgive yourself for whatever it is that's holding you back. Whatever is limiting you. And then we have the card of 36, which is which? The magic you seek is inside of you. Let it flow. Yeah, it is. The magic is inside of you. And I feel like that's the strongest message for this whole reading is that your success is inside of you. You have it within you to reach your dreams. You have it within you to reach your goals, to create the life of your dreams. But you have to believe in yourself. You have to embrace this empress energy which is inside of you. You have to reconnect or connect with the why you want to do things. What is this goal and why do you want to achieve it? Sometimes when we have goals, we can't actually figure out why we want something. And that's often because that goal is not coming from within us, but it's coming from exterior to us. You know, it could be the ego. It could be a goal that your family has imposed upon you. It could be a goal that, you know, friends, whoever, media has imposed upon you. It's something that, you know, oh, well, you know, everyone wants this, so maybe I want it too. But just because everyone else wants something doesn't mean that that's what you want. It's time to look deep within and understand what it is that you want. But it's also without judgment. It's not being judgmental for what you thought you wanted. It's not being judgmental for even if your reasoning for why you want something changes. Even if you were wanting something from a very egotistical point of view, if you can look deeper inside and you find more reasons as to why you do want something, there's no judgment on the ego. The ego is a part of ourselves. It always will be. But it's about looking beyond the ego, looking deeper within and embracing who you are. It's within you and you have the capabilities to reach your goal, to reach the success that you're dreaming of. It's just not being so hung up on the journey. Trust the journey. Trust yourself. Trust the universe to deliver your goal. Focus on your goal. Set the habits in place for as if you already had that goal. Say right now you're on a weight loss journey and you're wondering if you're going to reach your desired weight. 
Well, what does your life look like when you are at that weight? Are your current habits in line with the habits that you want to have when you're at your goal? Probably not because your current habits are what got you to where you are now. So if your current habits are sitting on the couch watching Netflix and eating potato chips, maybe that's not in alignment with your goal. So it's not about putting a plan in place to say, well, I need to exercise five times a week. I need to limit my calories. I need to do this, that, and the other. What are the habits that this healthier version of you are going to possess? Perhaps you drink more water. You're more mindful when you're eating. You stop eating when you're full. When you break it down to the habits that you want to have established when you reach your level of success, whatever it is, it doesn't seem so daunting of a challenge. And it's not about the steps that you'll take to get there. It's about the little details that you will have once you're already there. And how can Mm -hmm. you implement those little details into your life in the moment? Okay, pile number one. So those are my messages for you. I just want to remind yourself, remind you with this forgiveness card to not be so hard on yourself, okay? You are an amazing person. You are worthy of whatever level of success you dream about. Don't hesitate to go for your dreams. You are worthy of it. You can achieve it. Okay? If you enjoyed this reading, please hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next video. Love, light, and happiness to all of you. Really appreciate all the love and support. Have a fantastic day. Bye, guys. Hello, pile number two. So, let's talk about your key to success. I'm going to put the oracle cards aside and we're going to focus on your tarot cards first. These are going to give me a little bit more insight into your situation and what is currently blocking you from reaching this success. So we have the ace of pentacles, the three of pentacles, and the five of pentacles. Lots of pentacle energy. This is very concrete, in the physical world kind of energy. Could be a representation of money, also just a representation of your skill level, of the effort that you're putting forth. And I feel like you're being given opportunities, but you're being hesitant. Whether it's being hesitant to take them because you're uncertain of yourself, whether you are unable to take them because your skill level is not where it needs to be, or whether your ego is just blocking you from saying, it, like, no, I'm going to do it myself. I don't need help from others. Um, there's something very physical about why you're not where you're wanting to go at the moment. This Ace of Pentacles here, like we've got, you know, the the hand of God, spirit, universe, whatever you want to call it, giving you this coin, saying like, here's the starting point, like, let's go, let's go for it. You take that coin and you go through the gateway here onto the other side. But you're hesitant, you're hesitant to take that coin and to go forward. The Three of Pentacles here, this, this is about mastery and skill. This is an apprenticeship card. And then we have the five of pentacles here, which has two gentlemen who are having a very hard time. But there is this establishment behind them, this church that is willing to help them if they would only ask. But it's about getting over the ego, getting over the pride and being able to ask. So I feel like a block to your success is just, it's almost like you're, you're hesitant to accept help from someone, whether this be financial help, but this could even be like you need the money and you're, you're 
hesitant to go get a bank loan or something, um, or you're afraid that your credit won't allow you to get the bank loan, or you're afraid to get into more debt. I mean, you know your situation better than me. I'm not telling you to go get a loan if you can't afford it. Um, but it's maybe talk it over with a financial planner and see if maybe they see something that you don't. Maybe there are opportunities for you. Perhaps it's not even about looking into a loan. Perhaps you could look into a scholarship. This is something about education, um, a grant, like a government grant, um, perhaps an angel donor, perhaps someone wants to invest in your business. You know, there's always different ways around it. Whether you are creative enough to see them is another issue. So let's see. We have the Bone Collector and Metamorphosis. That's interesting. This Bone Collector here, I'm going to start with this card. She's holding on to the past, right? She's holding on to um, the bones of animals that have passed away. She is sitting here within her, her sacred circle, watch, you know, with this clock here where the time is just going by. And she's very, she's existing very much in the past, but still enjoying the present. She still enjoys her collection, but it's still in the past. What is she going to do with that moving forward? I feel like this is you sitting in your energy of not knowing how to go forward. But at the same time, I mean, there are bones all over the place if you know where to look. Um, and if you are willing to look. I mean, we quite frequently go on nature walks and we don't see any bones because we're not looking for them. But if we go out with the mindset of, I want to find bones out in nature, you can quite often find them because you're looking for them. And maybe that's also what this is. You're so shut off to the idea of having an opportunity given to you that you're not even seeing it being given to you, right? It's kind of like, you know, say you... Um, want to manifest a new car, so a white BMW, say, for example. You, you know, there's not many white BMWs out there. I really want one. And then all of a sudden, when you start thinking about these white BMWs, you see them all over the place, right? You realize that they actually are very plentiful, and you could probably have one. There's a whole bunch of them on the road, right? But if you're not looking for it, you might not see it. So I feel like for you to reach this next level of success, and I feel like pile number two, you guys are very business oriented. Um, so this could be wealth, this could be career, this could be schooling, um, something along those lines. Not saying that it's not relationship or love or health, but I'm just I'm getting a very business vibe right now. Um, you just need to be open to the idea that opportunities will present themselves, right? Instead of existing in, this is the collection that I have, and this is all I will ever have, open your eyes, open your heart, open your spirit to the idea that more is coming in, okay? And then we have the card of metamorphosis. And I feel like this is a change that you will need to be going through to really reach the ultimate level of success, your ultimate dreams. Who you are in this very moment is not capable of reaching that ultimate level of success. But fear not, because who we are right now is not who we will be in the future. We are always changing and evolving and you have it within you to take the steps you need to reach your level of success, but you do need to be open to change. There may be habits that need to change. There may be locations that need to change. There may be um, education that needs to improve, skills that need to improve. And as you continue down this journey, 
when things are offered to you and be open to the possibility that things will be offered to you. You know, when this opportunity for training comes in. And if this is relationship, like this could be an opportunity for, say, communication, um, like a communication class, like actually being able to speak and communicate better. This could be an opportunity for couples therapy if you're wanting to, um, your, your relationship to get to the next level. You know, you can always improve. And that's really a big message that I'm getting for you is that you are capable of moving forward and you need to embrace the opportunities to better yourself. It's not saying that there's anything wrong with you in the moment. Right now, you are exactly who you need to be. But to get to this next level of success, there are changes that are going to occur. Okay? Communication. What was I just saying? <laughs> we also have the three, which is what sparked my idea for the communication, and three, three. And threes in numerology are about cycles, uh, birth, life, death, you know, it's coming around in a circle, it's new opportunities being presented, and you starting something fresh, starting something new. And then the last card we have is Avenue. make peace with your past. And again, so we have the Ace of Pentacles, a one, we have the Bone Collector, which is a one, and this card is a one. This is a card for new beginnings. Ones are all about new beginnings, starting fresh, rebirthing, going through a metamorphosis into something bigger and better. This card, like these cards too, like if we look at the colors on these cards, we got yellow and gold and all the pentacles. Again, I'm feeling like you guys have the capabilities for a lot of success when it comes to your business ventures, wealth, finances, investments. Like, just look at these color schemes, too. Like, not only do we have the ones, we've got the threes, but also this synchronicity of the yellow. The yellow, the gold, the coins. But then we have this card of Avenue, which says, make peace with your past. And so what is it that is holding you back from seeing these opportunities that is presented to you? This is something in your past. This is shadow work that you need to do. This, like, what are you afraid of is what I'm hearing. Why are you afraid to be worthy of these gifts? Why are you afraid to be worthy of this success? This is very deep, and I would really like you guys to ponder upon this question, meditate upon this question. Meditate on your past. It's not about reliving your past. It's about accepting your past, making peace with it, and understanding that your past has made you who you are. And we can move forward from that past to the next level. This is also leveling up spiritually. Embracing yourself on a deeper level. Getting to know your subconscious in a way. And your higher self. Feel like your past, you really embraced your conscious. You were really in the moment. Um... Maybe, you know, fly by the seat of your pants kind of person. You know, like if you had an opportunity, you were given it. But then maybe that came and bit you in the butt. Something happened, which now makes you fearful of taking opportunities. So what happened and why did it happen? Was it a, a case of wrong place at the wrong time? Was it just not the right time for you to go forward with the opportunity? Mm -hmm. Was it your path just cross? Was it your journey just cross path with someone who, you know, was evil, bad, narcissistic, um, you know, 
we can't control everyone around us and sometimes bad things do happen. But how do we react to it? How can we move forward? How can we make peace with what has happened to us so we can move forward? All sorts of new beginnings within these cards. A rebirth, a metamorphosis. It is your time to shine, pile number two. And I can't wait to see your level of success. Whatever it is that you're reaching for, I'm so excited for you. Okay? So that's your reading if you picked this second pile. I hope you enjoyed this tarot reading. If you did, please hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next video. I am so appreciative of your support, of your love and generosity towards this channel. Thank you for your time, love, light, and happiness to all of you. Have a fantastic day. Bye. Hello, pile number three. How are you guys doing today? Um, we are going to start with your tarot cards. Just put your oracle cards off to the side. Your tarot cards are going to give me a little more insight into what it is that is blocking you from reaching your success that you're dreaming of. Okay? So we have the card of judgment, the magician, and the wheel of fortune. First off, right in the middle, I put him dead center as the magician. This is you being able to create your reality. This is you being able to reach the level of success that you are dreaming for. But then we have it flanked by the Wheel of Fortune and the Judgment card. And I feel like this really is revolving around your mindset of you feeling like you're not worthy of what it is that you're wanting. You're not worthy of a relationship. You're not worthy of money. This might even be a mindset of why am I deserving of more money when there's so many people starving in the world? Why am I deserving of leveling up um, financially or even with your health? Because there's so much suffering. There's so many people who need jobs more than I do. Like I'm content. It's you being kind of stuck in your circumstances because maybe you have enough, but you want more. It would be nice to have more. Maybe you're not really suffering, but you're not thriving. You know, you're kind of maybe stuck. And these judgments are really limiting your success because you're not allowing yourself to feel like you are worthy of what it is that you want. There are people who are suffering in this world. There are. There always will be. There is a balance of positive and negative, light and dark, wealthy, poor. And right now, that balance is really out of whack in some places. Um, but the only balance you really need to be concerned about in the moment is the balance within yourself. Are you worthy of reaching your goals, do you feel you have to suffer? Let's focus on your skill set. Let's focus on how hard that you have worked to get to where you are. Let's focus on the fact that you are worthy of the level of success that you are dreaming about. You are worthy of the loving companion. You are worthy of the body of your dreams. It doesn't, you know... Other people outside of yourself, or sorry, you don't need to suffer because other people are suffering. I mean, it sucks. Yes, there is suffering all over the place. There is. But you don't need cancer because other people do. You can have health even though other people don't, right? And if you are focused on being unhealthy, well, that very well could become your reality. Do you want your reality to go down or do you want to reach this level of success? There's no shame in wanting to be healthy. There's no shame in wanting to be wealthy. There's no shame in wanting um, a relationship with someone who empowers you and brings you up and makes you feel good. 
there's no shame in wanting to feel good yourself, no matter what the category, you know? So let's, instead of assuming that this Wheel of Fortune is going to land on something negative, let's assume that it's going to land on something positive. Magic, prayer, and balancing act. Yeah. It's this, it's this balance that's holding you back. When you're focused on what it is that you don't want, you're bringing more of that into your life. And I mean, this is the downside of the law of attraction, right? Sometimes we think like, oh, I want money, right? Well, then that bill comes in. And what's your first thought? Oh, I don't have enough money to pay that bill, right? So then that is the energy that you're attracting into your life. And it's so hard to change that mindset. But what if instead of when you open that bill, you know, even before you open it, instead of thinking like, I know I'm not going to have enough money, what if you change just the story you're telling yourself? And instead of saying, I don't have enough money to pay this bill, I don't even, I don't even want to open it. What if you say a little magic prayer? Wouldn't it be nice if I had more than enough money to pay this bill? You know? Or say when you go to reach for a snack, instead of saying like, oh, these chips are going to make me fat and just continue to eat them with that mindset, you can say, wouldn't it be nice if I could satisfy my craving, have just a reasonable amount, and then go about my day living a healthy lifestyle? That is more in alignment with this magician energy. We are turning the wheel towards what will be nice, you know? Wouldn't it be nice if I could have these things in my life? Wouldn't it be nice if I had more than enough money to pay my bills? Wouldn't it be nice if I could use that excess to donate to the homeless shelter? Wouldn't it be nice if I could contribute my excess funds to those in need. Instead of being concerned that there are so many people in need and that I don't deserve more money because they are in need, change the story. I am making more money than I need and therefore I can give back to those who do not have enough in this moment. Instead of having the judgment upon yourself in a negative way, saying I don't deserve this because say, I deserve this because I do care about these people and I can help them when I have that money. So that money is coming to me quickly and easily. That money comes into my life without resistance. Right? And it's just this fine line balancing act, right? You're, you're kind of saying the same thing. In the end, the goal for you to, uh, to um, bring more wealth into your life is to help others. So you could help others by saying, I'm not deserving of this money, they are. Or you could help others by saying, I'm deserving of this money so that I can give it to them. And then you also don't have the judgment upon yourself of, they need it more than I do. It's when you have that money, you can help them too, right? It's about the mindset. And it's about embracing this magician mindset. If you see here, he has all of his tools. He's got his pentacle. He's got his cup. He's got his wand. He's got his sword. And then he's got the infinity symbol over his head. He has an abundance of all of those things. He's got everything. He is whole. He knows that what he needs, he can have. And it doesn't mean that he's going to keep it and hoard it. He can manifest that into his life to give to others. Perhaps your definition of success is having enough so that you can help others. And that is a very worthy definition of success. So it's just finding that balance of the woe is me versus the empowerment. Okay? If you can't fully grasp the empowerment, at least teeter towards it. Right? Instead of falling off towards the I'm not worthy fall off to the other side and just be, you know, like, I'm, I'm this much closer to feeling like I'm worthy. Little steps. You can get there. Just little, little magic prayers every time, you know? 
even if you can't help someone now, well, I mean, you can always help someone, even just, you know, if you see someone suffering on the street, offer them some water, offer them a kind word. So many people don't even get the courtesy of a hello or a smile. If you can't help them financially yet, help them emotionally, right? 93, happy ending. And two, guho, transform the way you see. Yeah. This is, this is your mindset playing tricks on you as to whether you are worthy of this success or not. And you are. You are worthy of what it is that you want. If this is even a relationship, you might have existed in a mindset where, you know, my parents got divorced, my uncles are all divorced, everyone I know is divorced. So why would my life be any different? But again, just because they were divorced doesn't mean that you cannot have a happy relationship. And divorce doesn't mean that the relationship is unhappy. It's just the relationship for those two individuals might not have been the best, but by divorcing, they have created better relationships within themselves. Perhaps sometimes we have to leave negative experiences and move forward. You know, divorce isn't always a bad thing. Divorce can lead to beautiful things, right? But let's focus on those beautiful things. If you want to reconcile with an ex, what are the beautiful aspects of that relationship that you want? You are deserving of that relationship. You are deserving of the love. But remember that you have to love yourself first, right? If that relationship with that ex is because they made you feel a certain way, well, how can you make yourself feel that certain way? Again, we've got this 93, happy endings. And I feel like this again, if you can kind of shift this mindset away from the negative thinking into a more positive mindset. And I'm not saying you have to be positive all the time. Being positive all the time is actually quite toxic, right? We can't be positive all the time. We can't see suffering and be like, it'll get better because we don't know for sure that it'll get better, right? You can't look at a blind person and be like, one day you'll see. That is toxic positivity, right? It's about being realistic, but also optimistic, right? It is about brace, embracing what you can change, embracing yourself for who you are, what you are capable of, you know? Not everyone is capable of the same things. Not everyone is even wanting the same things. So it's about finding the balance of what you feel you are capable of, changing that mindset if you feel like you aren't capable of something you want because, you know, you probably, you know, there's a good chance that you are capable, but it's about listening to yourself, right? Are you capable of loving yourself? Yes, you are. It might be hard. It might take support outside of yourself. If you have depression, anxiety, um, you know, a, a mental disorder of some kind, even a physical disorder, it might take help outside of yourself to reach your success, and that's perfectly fine. You do what you can do in the moment. This is baby steps. You might not wake up tomorrow just being overjoyed and in this mindset where everything you can change into this magic prayer. It takes time. We don't always have the capabilities to change overnight, nor should we. But I do feel like this transformation is really just a mindset block. And it's not something that's limiting you mentally or physically or emotionally. It is something that you can overcome. There is a happy ending in this situation. You are worthy of whatever level of success, success that you desire. It's just this, this, it's again, this balancing act. 
And balance, in a way, takes practice, right? When a baby is born, I mean, some animal species are born to be able to get up and run away from predators right away. Humans are not one of those species. Balance takes time. Watch a baby learn to hold their head up, to balance their own head on their neck, right? Developing the strength to be able to do that. And then developing the core strength to be able to sit up and balance. Developing the strength to balance when you're standing. To be able to have the balance when you're walking. Right? We have learned the current stability of our physical body, of our mental um, capabilities. And that can change and evolve over time. You can improve your balance. Physically, you can improve your balance. You could take a yoga class. Um, and you know, some gymnasts are able to do those amazing feats on the balance beam. There's an argument as to whether they were, you know, born that way. But the truth comes down to it is that they practice and they practice hard, right? You're not going to be in this magician mindset overnight without practicing. It's going to take time affirmations, meditation, reading, learning, developing your skills. Skills take time to develop. And there are many emotional skills, just as many as there are physical skills. So don't beat yourself up if you are not at this level yet. Reserve this judgment. Realize that if this is something that you want to be able to do, you may need to take the time, put the effort in, to learn new skills, to be able to reach this next level of success, okay? You may spin this wheel of fortune a few times and it may not land on your desired outcome, but that doesn't mean you need to stop spinning it. You can try again. Okay, pile number three. So those are my messages for you, for your key to success. If you enjoyed this tarot reading, please hit the subscribe button. I really do appreciate it. I appreciate all of you. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen to this reading. Um, thank you. Love, light, and happiness to all of you. Have a fantastic day. Bye, guys.